We have observed that the numbers of positive cases have continued to rise, with 2,717 people testing positive of the virus. To mitigate it, the Ministry of Health has adopted an enhanced approach to address the spread of the virus in the country. And this approach is centered on communities and the role that communities can play in helping mitigate coronavirus. To begin with, our new approach will involve close working with community-based groups, which include the non-governmental organizations, civil society organizations, and other stakeholders, with the aim of utilizing these groups in educating our people in the containment of the spread of the virus. And this is especially important because Kenya has a large number of these groups who work hand in hand with our communities, and therefore we should leverage on this resource. This approach will ensure that the correct information reaches households to demystify myths and misconceptions on COVID-19. And this is important if we are to achieve behavior change that is necessary for flattening the infection curve. This approach will be complemented by our 59,000 trained community health volunteers who now have been deployed across 47 counties and have so far been able to reach about 12 million households. Additionally, our renewed focus will involve strengthening community engagement structures in the counties. And we find this to be absolutely critical, particularly now that we are dealing with community spread of the virus. It is important to note that this community engagement strategy also has a role when it comes to home-based care and isolation. As you're all aware, we've recently launched our home-based isolation and care protocols, and this has been in conjunction and in line with WHO guidelines and international best practices. Our numbers of positive cases have been increasing, and of course, as you're aware, this has been a threat to our health system. And so home-based care approach and isolation comes in handy to help reduce the burden at our hospitals and to enable us to be able to continue serving Kenyans, considering that we still do have all other conditions that we need to meet in terms of our health systems. We are aware that counties such as Nairobi, Mombasa, Busia, and Kajiado continue to experience an upsurge of infections, with majority being asymptomatic. And again, lending credence to the need of rolling out and ensuring that our home-based program is practical. The success of this program, nonetheless, will require the active participation of each and every one of us, starting with the patients, to the caregivers at home, our mothers, our sisters, women who we know are the primary caregivers in the home place, and to healthcare providers in both the formal healthcare facilities as well as our community health volunteers. And so we are working to ensure, that, again, that the role of the community, the role of you and I, is enhanced as we move forward in the fight against coronavirus. There are the key community structures that we plan to employ, particularly our community health committees. And at this point, we challenge each Kenyan to really ask themselves how they engage with their community communities. These communities are present in each and every country and are there to facilitate one in terms of our community health strategy and now our home. We also have the initiative. We have estate management committees. We've seen a lot of estates come up with innovative mechanisms of controlling this spread of coronavirus. And of course, we have the local administration across the country. This is all part of utilizing our community resources in mitigating against coronavirus. We would like to appeal to all Kenyans to embrace the containment measures because these are crucial in terms of curtailing community spread and suppressing the pandemic.